helpful. Let me just... Did we start? I started episode 3 today. So, I don't know if I'll be able to finish it today. Because it's officially two and a half hours into the stream. I mean, I have another where are four. We? I don't know, but we better not hang around. Just about. So, it might be close, but I might be able to push through and finish it up. Do you know what we're looking for? We have to find Ready for the Super weapon. Bowl? Yeah, I'm ready for... I don't know who I'm going to root for. I'm kind of going in it neutral. Lance, the what? The Lance of Longinus, or I'll make my, my decision tomorrow. Yes. The centurion that pierced the sight of Christ with his lance. That weapon naturally became a holy relic. Exactly. Seriously? You don't really believe that fable, do you? Every fable is founded on true events. I'm not saying that everything adds up. But imagine if it really did exist. Very well. Now what? Well, now you know what you need to find. Pardon? I have to get to the wharf to prepare our departure. Let's get off this cursed island as quickly as we can. We shall come back when we are ready and armed. But hang on. Louis, let's first get to safety. We shall come back when we have the upper hand. Fear not. You take care of getting the I might lads. go with San it's Francisco. Imperative. I'll take care of preparing Still don't our like departure. the mom. I well, hang on. At least tell she, me everything she grew you know about on me this a little bit. But I have never little bit. seen it. There's nothing else I can say, Louis. But well, the slightest you can thing will around turn me off. Study. So I remember seeing paintings of Longinus there. Hang on a second. What's the matter? Why did you shoot Emily's sister? Do you really think now is the right time for this? Uh, I want to know, Mother. Why did you betray her? Listen, Louis. I don't think you've really understood my interest in the Al-Azif. It's not just simple curiosity about some old relic. You tried to kill her. And I had no choice for crying out loud. It must not be fall into the hands of the demons or we are all doomed don't oh you yeah see? we had a um, listen i don't know exactly what it contains with, uh, but i prefer to be one step ahead Emily. if they want it there must be a reason and even if i don't know what it is i want to stop them for safety's sake no matter what nothing will stop you if i understand correctly not enough even louis if you could see the extent of their power as i do then you would understand what i'm saying all right, we'll do it your way. One more thing. If they find you in possession of the lance, they won't let you get away with it. Choose only one and hide it under your jacket so you don't get caught with it. Then run and meet me on the wharf. And if I get caught? <laughs> if they catch what you if? in possession of the lance, we're all doomed. Do you understand? Perfectly. Good. And go talk to Piaget. He's the one who probably knows the most about this. Wait, we never gave her the, the letter from him. Question Cardinal Piaggi about the Holy Lance. I must find the Holy Lance. Uh, but I feel like it's probably in here. Holy crap, how is this all the way underneath the this giant place? Oh my. <laughs> um And how are these all lit too? That's crazy. This sarcophagus is engraved with the name of Clemens the Third. Good God! The one whose cross allowed me to enter. Oh that one costs zero. This one costs two. Clemens the Third. Clémentois in French. How come his tomb ended up here and not in the Vatican? This one has no name. I wonder who it was for. All right, well, I guess we'll go ask Cardinal Piagi. I shall be back. All right, sounds good. 
I'll go find some information. And I'll fill you in when you get back. <laughs> the Bible must mean the lance which finally took the life of Christ. The four Gospels each give an account of the death of Christ. Let's see what they can tell me about the lance. There's nothing about the lance in this account of the crucifixion. This apostle does not mention the lance in his description of the death of Christ. Ah, there. When they came to Jesus and saw that he was dead already, they broke not his legs. But one of the soldiers with a shimmering lance pierced his side, and forthwith there came out blood and water. And he that saw it bore witness. And his record is true, and he knoweth that he saith true that ye might believe. A shimmering lance. What is this telling me? Ah, shoot. Maybe I can use... Ah, yes. Know who it is. Medieval hermetic traditions evoke the idea of using noble materials for relics, which the monasteries often made themselves in order to attract pilgrims. Of course, they had to inspire greatness. So here... We might think of gold, whereas a centurion could not have hoped for anything better than copper at the time. The true lance would not have been a luxurious weapon. Hey. See. Uh. Kind of want to follow a walkthrough at this point. <laughs> Okay, all right, let's go find them. So we need to go find. Yeah, Where is he? We're attempting you can only take one and you need to go talk to the Piagi to find out which the proper lance you should acquire. I'm not sure if he would be in his room. This is not something I was expecting from this game. We are currently looking for the spear that pierced Jesus Christ. And there's George Washington. Blind Oedipus. Blinded himself. What a tragic destiny. Maybe we can go to his room. Or his cardinal's room. Okay. Balcony. Peru, Bonaparte, Hillsborough. Might be upstairs. We can just run around here. He looks like he's outside in the picture, though. Maybe that one of the servants will know? If I ask him. The quorum guide. Pardon me, monsieur, but I have work to do. Okay. I guess we can try going upstairs. Uh, 
not up here. You know, for this guide, being a guide, it doesn't tell you where he's at. Okay. There's only like one place that, okay, here it is. Uh, wait, is this it? First episode, Gorgon. It says chapter four, episode one. Wait, what? Oh. Okay. I'm looking for the... They never did uh, episode four. I guess. Huh. Oh my gosh. All right, well, I guess this first guide is the only one that's uh, available, so. And there's so many ads on this page that, like, literally the entire page is white for me. Which is interesting. Okay. I'm pretty sure some parts of these, too, you can actually, like, skip in a way. I watch him be in the garden or something. Cause he, it looks like in the picture of him, it looks like he is outside. So unless if he's in this room, ah, there he is. Your eminence, would you have a moment to spare? Not now, Louis, please leave me alone. I beg your pardon. I want to be alone. Very well. I. I'm only searching for information about the Lance of Longinus, the soldier. If you You're could- not listening to me. You are playing with fire. I heard you speak to Mr. Von Volner about it, and I was wondering if you could tell me something about it. That was a private conversation. How could I have known that he was listening to us? Hmm. I see what you mean. Louis, don't push it. Leave while you still can. Your Eminence, are you all right? Your Eminence, are you with me? Can you turn around, please? What do you want to know about the Holy Lands, Louis? Your Eminence, turn around. This is the weapon used by a Roman centurion on the very day Christ was nailed to the cross. Look at me. Longinus thrust his lance in the right side of Jesus. Please. As you wish. His nose is bleeding. So you are looking for the Holy Lands of Longinus, are you? Exactly. Frank and direct. I like that. Thank you for not trying to be sly. You are looking for the lands. You should know. You are not the only one. Lord Mortimer has spent a good part of his life and his fortune trying to find it. Never will he let you have it. But tell me, before going any further, have you spoken to anyone else about this? Yes, my mother knows about it. Of course, Sarah. Who else? No one else. What are you going to use the lance for, exactly? If I told you why I needed this lance, you would never believe it. Trust me. You can tell me anything. It's our only chance to vanquish the demons. Oh, my dear God, Louis. You sound just like Sarah. 
do you realize you are following the same path, step by step? Sarah also started by imagining things. She, too, spoke of demons, I am told. She could no longer speak to anyone, and saw a hidden monster in every guest, lurking in the shadows, ready to devour her. You must let us help you, Louis. I thank you for your sincerity. I shall answer you about Longinus. You deserve to be told. His spear-headed lance did indeed pierce the side of the Messiah. His blood gushed out, covering the head of the lance. It was covered in the blood of Christ. Thank you. Thank you, Your Eminence. You are welcome. Be careful, Louis. You are on a perilous path. Don't follow Sarah's demons, my boy. Don't delve too deeply into her delusions, or you won't be able to come back. The demons that she is frantically trying to drive away are in her own mind. Take good care of yourself. God keep you. Okay. Uh, this next thing go says go to Walmart. How do we get actually? Whoops. I know which one it is now, which is honestly pretty obvious which one it is, but you know, so. There he is. Is it this one? Oh wait, <laughs> we need to go all the way around. Alright, so we still got a little bit to go. Seems like he isn't here. What a mess. Looks like Volner was interrupted. Looks a lot like straw. And he's drawn something in a hurry on this sheet. I get the feeling that I've seen that somewhere before. inscriptions like this before they're not very common as a matter of fact I've only seen them once before around the lock of Alazif it's four. Oh my gosh not going to do that uh it's, it's, get enough points should be like two books here look a, a blotter and apparently it's been used recently. I wonder what Volner was going to write. It's smudged. It's not all legible. I can make out the signature though and leave as Azif planned le Oof. That's a lot, jeez. It's illegible. Let's see if I can find a solution in Volner's things here. Given his interest in alchemy, I wouldn't be surprised if I found something that revealed what's written somewhere in his room. All 
I'm gonna wait. Chemistry said. That's not surprising coming from Von Wolner. I should find something to help reveal the traces of ink on the blotter. say anything about this if you have enough points in occultism you can examine his books about Longinus and Lewis can take the book just then one of okay lime water I, I think I read somewhere that lime water was used on ancient manuscripts let's try it the ink now it's illegible right <sighs> right it's not my lucky day <laughs> oops so let's see what volner has in his bookcase <laughs> not surprising most of these works are in german and one in latin longini militis fabulum ah what have we here it looks like a kind of biography on Longinus the Centurion. Truly, Volner has done everything he can to get information about that lance. Mm, I'd better keep this one, though. Ah, here we go. Did he say? Damn, that's all I need. Maybe he knows something about the lance. What are you doing in my room? Sir, perfect timing. I, I was looking for you. You were looking for me? Well, here I am. What can I do for you? I was wondering if you might help me. You're the one looking for the lance. No, Don't I... take me for a fool. You are looking for the holy lances. What's the matter? You seem completely panicked at the idea I might be interested in this relic. I... No, no, that's not true. What are you so afraid of? I'm not afraid. You know Mortimer's got it. So you're not worried that I'd give it back to him? What is so you? So why are you so terrified of me being able to find it? You have no <laughs> idea what it is you're looking for. What are you playing at, Richet? Mortimer's the one who has that cursed lance. How long have you been looking for it? Ah, I see. You want it, and so you plan to steal it from Mortimer. For a long time. Isn't that right? Why, you little swine! You're planning to give it to Sir Gregory. You're looking to double-cross me and Piaggi too. What on earth is he talking about? But calm yourself, goddammit. You're the one I'm trying to help. What? What? I heard you talking with his eminence, and it seemed to me that this story about the lances had put you in a tight spot. I was only trying to be helpful. But why didn't you tell me straight away? Seeing as I hadn't found it, I, I didn't want to commit myself too quickly. If I failed, I, I would look like a beginner. Uh, I understand, Louis. I thought you were trying to nice. manipulate me. But please, uh, <laughs> excuse me. I got a little bit uh, carried away. But you can't get ahead by staying in the shadows on a case like this. There are already several of us searching for the Lance of Longinus. And it would be smarter to pool our information. Unfortunately, I've barely made any progress. I'm still trying to find out what the original Lance really looked like. Ah, let me reassure you, we've all been there, given the number of copies there are in existence. It also took us quite some time to discover its true shape. Many believe the central part of the head of the Lance to be covered in gold. Whereas, in truth, its center is made of an alloy of copper and iron. That does make sense. In those times, a centurion wouldn't have any chance of possessing a lance made of gold. Ah, that is the perversion of Christian idolatry. A copper lance could not have been noble enough to pierce the side of Christ. Anyway, thank you, sir. You're welcome, Louis. Keep me posted as to your research. 
We're bound to end up recovering it. I'm counting on it. See you later. Awesome. I it's actually pretty nice. The biography of Launches as Maturian. Let's see what it can teach me. Hmm. An interesting passage here tells me that the lance is engraved with the symbol of the first Christians. The fish. Alright, I think we can go pick up the thing. Uh, which way would we go? I don't know. Oh, Office. Wait. It says examine a statue in his office. Since we're right here, I might as well. This go this one? Saint Longinus. Let's yep. take a closer look at his lance. It is shaped like a leaf, like, like the real lance, maybe. How can I be sure? I think this statue does represent Longinus, armed with a lance that wounded Jesus. The Holy Lance. How can I find out if this is an exact representation? There's no way of being certain of it. Okay. Go to the painting. The painting. This one? Longinus is holding the holy lance in his left hand, and I'll bet he's holding the sponge soaked in holy blood in the other hand. Yes! Here we can see that the holy lance is represented in the shape of a spear. I better make sure I check this twice. It's it's a work that dates from the Renaissance. And there's nothing to say that it's not based on erroneous elements. This work is an order from Lord Mortimer. All the details have been conceived with a specific goal in mind. Upon closer examination, you can see that even the style clashes with that of most of the other works in the manor. No. If Mortimer has taken special care as the conception and the exhibition of this painting in his study, in the same way as for the Nightmare painting, it must be of some significance. And that is indeed the true shape of the Holy Lance, a spear shape. All right. Is there an area that has like all the spears or something? Cause I'm confused about that part. <laughs> now we gotta travel all the way back there. So down here, then outside. Here. These are not just like simple puzzles to solve at all. <laughs> These are in depth. Like by a lot. And even if you have a lot of the answers, you still might get it wrong. That's terrifying. I like that logo thing. Okay. So we're looking for a spear. Who's this? Apparently there's a lot of items around here, so I'll try to pick up as many as I can. Flavius Aetius. Hmm. 
It was cut a long time ago. You can tell by the rough hacks of the tool and the patina of the stone. This sarcophagus is very ancient. I'd say it's several centuries old. This isn't it, right? Yeah, that's not it. I might see it. That's not it. Nope, that's not it. This might be it. I can see that this lance has the shape of a boar spear. The blade is partially coated in copper, and I can just make out the symbol of the Eye of Ra engraved on the tip. Nope, it's not it. Maybe this one? I think this is it. Yeah, this is definitely it. I can see this lance has a spear shape, it is copper rimmed. And it has been engraved with the symbol of the Christian fish on the tip. That's it. I must be sure of my choice. I cannot get it wrong. Am I absolutely sure this is the one to take? Yes. Join your mother at the wharf. Uh, it says find as many items as possible. All right, let's let's grab that too. Who is this? The sarcophagus of Lord Mortimer. Oh. It's the only sarcophagus in this crypt which appears to bear the Mortimer family name. What ancestor can it be? There's no inscription. Let's see what we can find here. It's the only sarcophagus in this crypt which appears Oops. to bear the Mortimer family name. What ancestor can it be? There's no inscription. All right, let's leave. Crazy. It's a cross up there. What if that's the cross that he carried? And all of how there's like even more out there, more uh, tombs. See if there's any items over here. Yep. The sarcophagus has been ravaged by time. It's sort of ageless, I guess. It's entirely sculpted. These symbols, these grooves, cuneiform script. This is humanity's oldest alphabet, the language of Babel. <laughs> Sadly, no one today even knows how to decipher it. There's also some text engraved beneath in ancient Greek. Sargon. Hmm. Interesting. I go shower and I come back to my mom playing Fortnite and Minecraft. <laughs> That's funny. Way back to the mansion, but you end up bad. Okay. We're going for a perfect run this time. <laughs> Let's 
Wow, how dare she? Unbelievable. Bro, it is going places now. Uh, I feel like occultism is going to be helpful. And... Notice falsifications. Right, we'll take logic too. I'm already pressed for time as it is. Mother's waiting for me on the wharf. <laughs> One book. Join your mother at the wharf. I'm assuming that's the beginning area. Right? The only way out. Yeah, it's gotta be. Sticking your oh, nose everywhere right. again. Wow, what's the matter with him? Excuse me, monsieur. I don't follow you. I haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal. Why? What are you talking about? I am talking about what you are doing. This conference is going to boost my career. There is no question of me letting you ruin everything. I just surprised Piaget and Volner talking. You are about to rob Mortimer. Give me what you took from him immediately. Let's keep calm, please. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'll have to cut this short, quick. <laughs> Look, I don't know what you're going on about and I don't have time for this right now. Don't think on getting rid of me so easily, Deriche. Where have you been? I'm still looking for my mother, if, if you can believe it. I've been in the manor basement to check if she might have gone lost. And uh, did you find her? No, not a trace. I'm warning you, Deriche. I've got my eye on you. I'll soon figure out what you are up to. And I am convinced that you have indeed robbed Mortimer. The game is up. Give me what you took from him. You know, this is becoming an obsession with you. Show me what you are carrying, or I will call the servants. I don't know what you're talking about. Very well. You leave what? me no choice but to alert Lord Mortimer. Blast it. I'll never manage to leave this island if he keeps this up. Wait. You leave me no choice. Come with me. What? No, 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 no. What? It says you can give him and put a what? You can choose not to give him anything or you can give him an encyclopedia, which will complete it. Literally worst guide ever. Hold up. Hold up. I am not. Nope. Not going through with that. Nope. Not letting that happen. Nope. 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 Where, where are we starting that? God. I'm already pressed for time as it is. Mother's waiting That's probably a, such a huge hit. If we did let, let it... Oh my gosh, dude. All right, so I have to give him the encyclopedia. Also, how does he not have it tucked away like better than that? Duriche, sticking your nose everywhere again. Wow, what's the matter with him? Excuse me, monsieur, I don't follow you. I haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal. Why, what are you talking about? I am talking about what you are doing. This conference is going to boost my career. There is no question of me letting you ruin everything. I just surprised Piaget and Volner talking. You are about to rob Mortimer. Give me what you took from him immediately. Let's keep calm, please. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'll have to cut this short, quick. Look, I don't know what you're going on about and I don't have time for this right now. Don't think on getting rid of me so easily, Deriche. Where have you been? I'm still looking for my mother, if, if you can believe it. I've been in the manor basement. To this is so sketchy. Lost. And uh, did you find her? No, not a trace. I'm warning you, Deriche. I've got my eye on you. I'll soon figure out what you are up to. 
And I am convinced that you have indeed robbed Mortimer. The game is up. Give me what you took from him. You know, this is becoming an obsession with you. Show me what you are carrying, or I will call the servants. Rare object. Encyclopedia. Very well. Fair is fair. You've exposed me. Here. This is what I took from him. Look, I'm sorry. I acted on a bizarre impulse. I don't know why, sir. And frankly, you have disappointed me. That said, it is not oh, as bad you. as I uh, thought it would be. I can't believe right. it said you can give him we nothing. leave it there. I'm glad that things have been cleared up. So, are we finished here? Indeed we are. I shall leave you. That's right. Go play somewhere else. See you later, Holy monsieur. crap, dude. Come on. I have to hurry up and join my mother at the wharf now. All right, let's get the F out of here. For now. So we're at the library right now. We go into the Great Hall of Zeus. Is that a book? Oh. Nobody's there. Regardless, it still is a really nice place. As luck would have it. Mm. Come, my boy. I would like to have a word with you. Speak with her. We can literally just leave. Come closer, please. It's time we had a little chat. Okay. What's, what's wrong, my lord? Um, uh, tell me. What's with all the bodyguards? Louis, it's time you found out the truth. I've been observing you since you arrived. I see you running all over the grounds in the search of Sarah. I would like to prevent her from leading you even further down the wrong road. The wrong road? Louis, Sarah has made her own choices of her own free will, and I would like for you to have the same chance. You see, Sarah and I have known each other for a very long time, Louis. I am aware of her theory. About me? About Gregory? About the demon? And it's true. She's right. Look at me. I have inhabited this body since 1191. For the last 602 years, I have been this dear William Mortimer. Oh, what? You're the devil incarnate. The devil? I'm not saying that all Judeo-Christian folklore hasn't served us, but the truth is, of course, something quite different. Please, don't look at us through the primitive prism of religions. I am not hiding any horns or goat's feet, Louis. I have no tail. Why do you bring up folklore? You mean that you've taken advantage of people's beliefs? No, not exactly. I mean that we, in fact, created them from scratch. It is amazing to see how mankind has such a strong need to believe in something superior to itself. It was very instructive for what was to come. You've been Mortimer for 600 years? How long have the demons been among mankind? Oh, I don't think I'd be lying if I said that we have always been here. Lucifer, the fallen archangel, left heaven accompanied by 133,306,668 angels. Is it true that 
there are that many of you? This yeah, makes me want to I watch Lucifer, the TV Forget show. Forget your Bible class. It's <laughs> ridiculous. We are not angels. We don't have wings. There is certainly nowhere near a million of us. And for that matter, no sacred human text represents us correctly. There are several families. And the family to which I belong has eight siblings, including Gregory and myself. Sir Gregory is your brother? Yes, what can I say? <laughs> you can't choose your family. But it is very difficult to know exactly how many of us there are because a large number of our kind remain hidden or never reveal themselves even to us. And you truly have the power to manipulate the thoughts of men. That's right. Every demon has the capacity to infiltrate the minds of men and to read and steer their thoughts. And what do you do with this power? We help them, Crazy. of course. And how is it you help men exactly? Let's just say that without us, man would probably never have left his cave. Fire, the wheel, tools, writing. We are the spark that inspires man to search, to grow, to evolve. Can you tell me more about your capacities, your supernatural powers? Supernatural? From my point of view, they are perfectly natural. Well, Louis, just because the monkey does not fly doesn't mean that we should consider the bird a supernatural creature. We are all part of a grand design. We are simply made like this. By developing our art, we are able to read thoughts as well as write in the minds of men. It is possible for us to make them bow to our desire, but it doesn't work without leaving some scars. Uh... Continue. Louis, it's time you opened your eyes. Come, you'll soon see. After you. So he is a demon. Did what happened to Elizabeth Adams have anything to do with you? Mm, unfortunately, the poor girl became an issue between us in spite of herself. A family of demons is still a family. And as in all families, there are disputes. Elizabeth's family, the Adams, has always been under the patriarchal control of my father. As he and myself are not really on very good terms, sending poor Elizabeth here was terribly rude of him, really. You did accept, though? No, I would say rather I was presented with a fait accompli by Gregory and went along with the intention of helping her. But this is my castle, and everyone is the master of their own home. So, Von Borchert, he was looking for the Alazif for you. Exactly. Alazif has always belonged to my family, Louis, and with good reason. My father wrote much of it. Can you tell me what you've done with... What? You mean the Alazif? No, I already know that. Sarah came here with it and got rid of it. I was thinking of Von Bortert. He isn't essential, but he is a trusted person. He's a prisoner at our headquarters in Paris. All right. If you could manipulate us mentally, what's the point of all the theatrics of the conference? You must suspect that we asked ourselves that very same question. For many centuries, we didn't organize any conferences, and most of the time, it ended in civil war between demons. Many of us were killed during this period. The idea of organizing conferences was the answer to everything, the interest being to erect some rules among ourselves. Our family first divided up all the principal countries of the world. Now, whenever one of us wants to propose a major change between these countries, they summon the demon in question, and initiate a conference. The demon that initiates the proposition doesn't have to give notification of the subject of the conference beforehand. Consequently, we participate along with our best assets. Once the humans are brought together, 
The conference begins, but we are forbidden to use our talents to influence the participants. The first meeting is held in order to expose the subject to all the participants, followed by several days of reflection, during which we are allowed to be persuasive, but not to impose our will. A second meeting closes the conference with a final vote. So, for you it's a game, isn't it? Our face is finally remark, healing. But after living several centuries, you stand back and enjoy what reflection has... I hope I've answered all your questions, Louis. Come, I have something to show you. There... there is one question that remains to be answered. Why me? Why tell me all of this? Oh, haven't you guessed yet? My lord, I don't know if I can answer in all honesty. Please do, Louis. You can say anything to me, believe me. You must admit, being surrounded by all these servants isn't doing much to relax me. Oh, forget the servants. They're only here to ensure my safety. Why? What are you afraid of? Well, I wouldn't want you to get the wrong idea, Louis. But you have spent your entire life fighting the occult. You have just stolen the Holy Lance from me, and I do happen to be a demon. Do you not realize the power that relic has on a demon? You mean to tell me the lance can kill a demon? The lance is marked with my father's blood. It has acquired the capacity to block us inside our host. If a demon got injured by the holy lance, they wouldn't be able to change bodies. If the wound were mortal, the demon would surely die. W w wait, hang on a minute. Did you just say that Jesus Christ was your father? That's right. It corresponds to one of the periods when my father had a dire need to show himself to men. Mm. You see what that led to. So you're telling me that all of Christendom has been built on the myth of a demon? <laughs> Ironic, don't you think? But it is essential that men remain oblivious to that fact, Louis. I'll let you imagine the cataclysm that would erupt and tear through all of the religions if ever they found out the truth. <laughs> Look, we are of the gods, Louis. Always have been. You, as much as me. You are one of us, Louis. You too are a demon. Are you serious? You know it. Deep down inside, you know I am telling you the truth. Where do you think that That's natural why he can do this comes thing. from? Your talent must already have manifested and see itself other somehow. people. Have you ever had any visions? No. Stop it. It's absurd. Have you never found yourself suddenly inside someone else's body without knowing why? No. Whilst asleep, maybe? That's how it often happens the first time. Your spirit wanders unconsciously. My mother can't have lied to me about that. It's true. Your real mother would never have lied I... to you. I... What do you mean? Louis. I would rather you found this out from her own lips, but it's important that you know. Sarah is not your mother. I, what? I'm sorry you had to find out this way, Louis. But you must know the truth before you commit an irreparable act. No, I... No. It, no, it's not possible. You are my son. Dad? Dad? Not too <laughs> shaken up. You've experienced many significant events since your arrival. You can say that again. For now, I <laughs> think you ought to find Sarah, my son. You ought to talk things over with her. So she's been lying to me all along? Let her justify herself. What's done is done. Sarah must explain herself. It looks like if I saved uh, uh, Peru, he would have the time came in. We need to talk afterwards. But all in good time. B before you join her, I'd like to give you something. As a demon, I would like to introduce you to your first talent. What do you mean? Open your mind, my son. Relax. You hold immense power. It's already there, inside you. Empty your mind of all thoughts. Just let me show you the way. I should relax. Open your mind. Hear my voice. Feel the vibrations and listen to what has been happening to you deep inside, but which you have been concealing. Trust yourself. It's all already in there. I... I can hear something. Now breathe. 
It's a sound very, very faint. That's right. Concentrate on it. My voice is growing fainter, but I am here. I whispers, words, mixed voices. Mm. Focus on one of them. Don't be afraid. I. I sense a stream. It's me, me, Some streaming. Words are clear, but not all of them. Let them enter into your mind. I hear them. Now, now I can hear a clear voice. Well done, Louis. Congratulations. What was it? You are now able to read people's minds. I, what? You heard me. From now on, whenever a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. So, if you need to know something in particular from someone, all you have to do is make them think about it. <laughs> but I'd be violating their minds, wouldn't I? No, no. I'm sorry. Nothing of the sort. You won't really be penetrating their psyches. Let's just say you'll be picking up residual signals emitted by their thoughts. It isn't intrusive at all, rest assured. There are also a few rules you need to know that govern this talent when used between- Wait, actually? New talent, new blood. Out of breath. Wait, is that a trait? Snooper. New blood. You know how to read people's shallow thoughts. Huh. Selves. You can read the thoughts of demons as well as of human. But be careful. A demon more experienced than yourself will know that you are spying and will often react quite violently. It's considered bad form to play around the psyche of another demon. It's a question of courtesy. But let's be clear. What is most considered bad form is getting caught. So I would advise against trying to read the thoughts of Gregory, for example. Hold? <laughs> yes, the old grump is touchy and rather a stickler about the conventions. On that note, go and see Sarah, Louis. Otherwise, she might leave without you. We'll continue this discussion later if you want. Just join me in my study when you've finished. Uh, you're now able to hear superficial thoughts of your inner look. You've tears. Each use of mind reading costs one essence point. You can earn one back when confronting to an immunity, two by exploiting a vulnerability, and three by consuming a devil's thorn. Huh. I'm off. Wait, so I can technically try to read his mind? <laughs> you're right. I need to go now. See you later, father. One more thing. If you want to know the truth about your birth, ask her about Paris, 1763, at 12 Rue des Martyrs. That's where she disemboweled your mother to steal you from me. Damn. Shoot, I don't know what to do now. It's not that I regret all these discussions, but I must hurry to the wharf. You manipulated us all. You're going to pay. What is at stake here far outweighs our personal our interests. Our personal I'm interests? You betrayed me. Emily, no! What an idiot. He still doesn't get it. But, wait. How has Sarah betrayed you? I don't believe it. You still don't get it. I'm not Emily, stupid! You went as far as killing your own sister? You're the one who pointed her out. Oh, you God. only have yourself to blame. Oh, dear God! Surprise, Sarah! You can't just get rid of me like that, you old hag! Do you realize what you did? Oh, no, we got the Emily, wrong you one, Phil. 
She looked for you everywhere. You're lying. She wasted her time hovering around you. No, you're wrong, Emma. She was ready to kill me if it would have brought you back. She was supposed to lay into you. She was supposed to get even for me. Emily was right. She wouldn't have made me pay for someone else's mistakes. Duchess, I am sorry about what happened. You had a choice. You use people according to your desires without any scruples. Excuse me, but we are in the same line of business. Shut it! And Emily knew it very well. No, Emma, look at me. She would never endanger herself for the sake of the Order. Her sense of duty gave way to her personal interest. In the end, Sir Gregory was the only one who was truly honest with me. He has opened my eyes more in two days than my sister did in a whole lifetime. Sir Gregory? You've got to be joking, right? You're not really going to trust him, are you? Emma, why do you follow home? Why? Why? <gasps> Always questions. Just shut up, for God's sake. There's been right, enough I'm deaths. That in the background. It's all over for you. You're going to have some explaining to do after all of this. What? Are you threatening me? Do you really think you are in a position to do so? And what if I take your mother out first? At the stage I'm at, she should never have tried to shoot Emma, me. Emma, no! Don't move! Louis, remember in Paris? I trust you, son. Now, Louis! Oh, ah! No, damn it! No! Why did you do that? Louis! Unworthy, no, son. No, no! Come on, Alright, we're going Hang this the rest You're of the way without a guy. Do it doesn't really make a difference. Trust him! I am proud of you, my son. No! Mother! No! <laughs> Damn. The guy that I was following, it had completely different information. So, yeah, it seems like that's uh, not very helpful. A lot of these. So I'll take Dennis. these two and I guess Dennis. these two. Can't re read any more books. That's fine. Rational and open. I spent my whole life I'm close out the guide. Yeah, the guide has different choices than what I've Emma, made, so waste. it literally wasn't even helping me. Like Damn. I, nothing. I have to learn everything all I can't over believe again. we killed the wrong one. I'm a demon. I age more slowly. I can mentally manipulate people. I don't why even is know our if it's face a good thing or still a curse. so messed up? No. No, this is an advantage. I could get used to this pretty quickly, I think. Damn it. What a mess. Come on. Man up, Louis. I'm still the same old me. Demon or not, I'm still in charge of my actions. And this exactly. father, I know nothing about. Yes, I've still got a lot to learn. It's enough to drive you crazy. Everything I believed in, nothing holds true anymore. Pull yourself together, man. I need to find some answers. There's no way of being alone for a minute. So now, like, do I go back to trusting him or what? St. Jerome. All right. I've retrieved everything. Who's at the door? Sir Gregory? Oh, hey. Good day, Louis. Is that him? I think it would be good to talk. How are you feeling? I don't know. I understand. I heard that William spoke to you at last about our nature and our family. It's a good thing, but you must be a bit shaken up. That's the least you can say. I bid you welcome among us, Louis. Knowing William, he probably didn't go into any detail about our family, so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. <laughs> We could read his mind. 
How long has our family been in existence? We have been here since the very beginning. What do you mean, exactly? Are you trying to get information? Cover all of Gregory. Okay. Me? Uh, I, no, not at all. I, I was just wondering why that particular question seemed to disturb you. Uh, let us not insist, then. You yourself weren't very convinced by the question, it seems. Is there a head of the family? You'll see. You'll meet them all, of course. When you are ready, they created us and set out the rules, especially our father. As for our mother, she retired from the political stage. We don't see her much anymore. I think that all these questions simply bore her. I see. There is still much to learn. Yes, it's true. You've got some catching up to do, my boy. One thing you must understand regarding any disagreements that might arise between William and myself is his position with regard to mankind. What do you mean? Well, for centuries we've been trying to help and therefore preserve humanity. Monarchies are simple and practical. They enable us to inspire humanity efficiently and I can't understand why William wants to replace them with democracy. But if your intention is not to dominate the human race, why not let them be master of their own destiny? I perfectly understand this type of reaction from you. Less from William. The main thing you're lacking is time. Man is transient. And one of his particularities is that he does not learn from the errors of his peers. He uses up an incredible amount of energy building and destroying whatever he himself has put into place. If we weren't here to help them, guide them, I sincerely believe that humanity would have become extinct by now. We are eternal, Louis. When we plan ahead, we do it for the long term. Yes, I, I understand, but that's more like tyranny, isn't it? Well, it's all a question of your point of view. <laughs> From man's point of view, I can understand how he would have that impression, if ever he found out. But don't forget your true nature. From the demon's point of view, in other words, ours, letting man do as he thinks fit would equate to letting him race to his own demise. But what about man's freedom to choose? That is man's worst enemy, Louis. Imagine a creature that dies without reaching the age of adulthood. It remains a child. We have to help him, otherwise he will put himself in danger. Ben, it has taken centuries we for are. our family to establish and relative peace between Mortimer demons. Mortimer is our Thanks father. Thanks to this policy, we have been able to decide and everything by this guy the other families is to a demon. subordinate roles. And, and now we can remind, read mine. everything. Peace between demons? What do you mean? I'm not talking about conflicts within our family. If that was all there was, everything would be fine. But several other families, younger but nonetheless powerful, are trying to upset the balance. At present, we it's dominate crazy. most of the major countries around the globe. But some families are pushing, via less influential countries, to gain ground. Do you understand? As best I can, yes. When the time comes, you must take up a position on the political chessboard. I only hope your father doesn't take you down with him. I don't know. So, this guy actually wants... He want His goal is to control other people. So... Uh, I'm trying to think how to explain it. Are you suggesting he, he might be in danger? Well, Louis, our father's patience is not limitless. If William ever does go too far, then yes, he will be in danger. I want you to make an informed choice. Now go and see your father, see what he has to say, and then think it over very carefully. That's exactly what I intended to do. Thank you, Uncle. Don't mention it. If I've been able to help you in any way, go now. The weird thing is, so like all the demons are very respectable of each other. 
Um, so that blue bar or that purple bar there that you see, that lets us read other people's minds now. 